everywhere. It's Denise from Foursquare Marker Farm. And uh, I'm hoping you're going to be able to hear me over top of the fish tank. And this is just a little uh, demonstration on what I do with beads. Now, I know there are a lot of people who like to knit their beads or crochet their beads into place. And that does make for a more uh, exact placement of beads when it calls for it. But a lot of times when I make beaded yarn, I just like to uh, make beaded yarn. And so I put my beads on by first taking a sewing needle that will fit into the um, center of the bead. And these ones right here are uh, eight seed beads. Now, I, I guess that's eight millimeter. The package just says eight slash zero. So I'm assuming that's, I'm not really sure what the eight actually stands for. And usually I get number six seed beads. But um, Joanne's was having a sale buy one get one free and so the color I wanted and the way I wanted to look pretty much was only the the eight seat bead in this case so at any rate I thread them on to a length of the uh, the thread I'm going to ply with and this is just regular uh, Sherlock machine thread I put them all the way on I put the entire package of beads on here and I want to say it was 20 gram package because um, I never know really how many I'm gonna need and I don't want to stop in the middle of the you know yarn and have to try to put thread back onto here so this is a merino that I have spun up same merino that's in my shop and in this case I'm gonna spiral ply now I have used the beads to ply and it wasn't a thick and thin spiral ply and that was a three ply so I had two singles of the whatever the fiber was the wool or whatever it was and then my third ply was the thread with the beads on now someone asked does this tangle and yeah it does I'm gonna put the merino on one side I'm gonna put the thread on the other and basically I have to be careful that I don't get these little tangles as I am plying so yes it does it still does and I try to make sure that when I lay the spool down and I I really should have the uh, bobbin holder but I don't have that with me right now and I try to wrap it into kind of a circle so to make sure and this is where the hard part comes in is that I need to pull a length of thread for the length that's going to be the space between the two beads oh, see I got a tangle right here I'm gonna take my time and go ahead and untangle it just kind of have to be careful what I'm doing here so I don't have any tangles but anyway this is a relatively slow process I like to say not, not my usual speed demon because I need to lift up so that the thread comes off the spool and like I said, this would be a lot easier if I was using the bobbin holder, but I'm not because I left that at home and I'm not at the house currently. So, and then I'm going to get my one thread and I'm going to start. And basically I just, well, first I need to put the band on the wheel, hold it for my spiral ply. At the ang my angle of preference and I have a pretty good idea of how much needs to go by before I deposit that on there the angle I want and I just let it slide down into place got to kind of give it a little pop so it'll lock into place and I'm not I'm not really counting treadles but you, you kind of get a feel for it honestly and I'm not running these guys very close together for the first couple of yards. So if I was running them closer together, I wouldn't have, it would be easier as far as me pulling this thread out. Oh, gotta watch those. So the closer I run them together, the less problems I have worrying about what's gonna happen to that. So it might look a little awkward now, but there's, you can see the thick and thin forming. And also too, I was carrying the, um, wheel down the steps and I dropped the ball of merino so there's more advanced uh, 
from the center pool ball that I would have liked. So that's making things a little more complicated because I have to keep it from twisting up when I'm doing this. Keep my nice angle up because I want it tight. But at the same time, I don't want to have any kinks, anything left over. And basically, this is how I prefer to do it. Of course, there's other ways to do it. Uh, Got to untwist this. And once I get my flow going, it's, it's a smoother process. But it just allows me to put the beads on here at various lengths. And that's all I'm really looking for is just to get a beaded yarn to work with. Because I'm not really placing them in particular as much as I'm placing them at a particular distance. There we go. When this yarn is finished, I'll show you what it looks like. Here's a finished yarn. You can kind of see the beads on that side. Let me move it back a bit for you. There are some here. And this is not a very heavily beaded yarn. And I'm kind of wishing I had put more beads when I had plenty left over. But this is nice. And the beads will just add a nice accent to whatever it is uh, I make from this. Or whatever I do with this. It'll make a nice accent. And this is my quick and dirty method for applying beads into uh, basically any type of uh, yarn I want to make, whether it's spiral ply or a, th a three ply yarn with one of the plies being the uh, thread with the beads on it. Nice and quick and easy. Whenever possible, I mean, if I can do something quick and easy, or I like to say the quick and dirty method, then I try to do it that way. Okay, there it is. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully you'll come and join us in the Spin by Design group, which is the journey group for the Spinner's Book of Yarn Designs. I am basically in place, feeling good. So I'm back to, um, you know, getting the videos out for that group. So you can come join us there. Or... Uh, you can also join us on the Angora Bunny Spinners group and the Fiber Dyeing Study group on Facebook. Thank you for watching. Um, sorry, this one's a little shaky. I decided real quick just to do the yarn and I'm um, holding it instead of on the tripod. So I really appreciate you watching. Uh, please click the thumbs up for the like, subscribe, leave comments. Let me know what you'd like to see, what you need to see, any questions that I can answer for you. I'd be more than happy to. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.